Thank you, Jim. And with all that rain in the forecast, flooding is a concern in many communities. WKYT's Sean Moody continues our top story team coverage from Scott County, where officials are keeping an eye on the situation. The Scott County emergency management officials say the situation here isn't serious, but they do expect some nuisance flooding out of the Elkhorn Creek. The creek crested at more than nine feet last week and went back down to about five and a half feet, but over the past day or two, it started rising again. The park near Cardome is blocked off while the water is a bit higher than normal. Over at Oser Landing near downtown, debris is piled against a bridge while the water rushes past. Emergency management officials say they don't expect the water to cause any serious problems. We will see some overtopping of roads, some bridges that may be blocked for a little while. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll be out monitoring all of the roads and the places that we watch for regularly. Now, there are also a couple of areas north of Georgetown that Hennigan said they're watching closely. There are tunnels between Georgetown and Sadieville. One of them is on Rogers Gap Road. The other is on Double Culvert Road. Hennigan said if you're traveling between Georgetown and Sadieville, you probably shouldn't take those roads. In Georgetown, Sean Moody, WKYT. Emergency management officials in Harrison and Bourbon counties tell us they don't expect to see much flooding.